Okay, I'm back from school, so let's just jump right into it. This video is going to be more of an informative video on kind of what I'm going to be doing this summer, what the plan is since I have no school, uh, kind of getting in the way of making videos and working on the bike and truck, and also where I'm standing as far as the surgery and the accident. Starting with the surgery and the accident, as some of you may know, I got into an accident on the dirt bike a few months back. There's a video about it on my page that you can go check out explaining what happened in the accident. So basically where I'm at with the wrist right now, I'm out of all casts, all uh, braces, everything. My wrist is fine and on its own. I had my what I thought was my last appointment uh, about a week ago and he said x-rays came back in good. There's no more breaks. Everything's healed up. The only problems I'm having right now is the grip in my hand is a little weaker and I don't have my full range of motion yet. So I'm doing some physical therapy right now to try to get it back to normal and I have another appointment in about a month and that will be my last one to make sure everything's all good with range of motion and grip. So what I planned to do was as soon as I was all better with the wrist, I could start working on my bike again, getting it back up and running, but then medical bills started coming in. <laughs> Uh, so I paid off all my medical bills. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put my money now and Try not to spend it all just on this one accident. So in the meantime, that's when it comes down to Working on the truck. So as I said in a previous video, you know things just start adding up on the truck, you know small little things here and there and they all just add up to a point where they all need to be taken care of at once. What I plan on doing this summer is trying to fix all those little things on the truck. Uh, thankfully the Loctite that I put on one of the bed bolts that was making it loose and rattle has been working so far. I haven't had problems with that. A few trips ago, as I mentioned, a rock hit the bottom of my bedside and busted the clips holding on the fender flare. So I'm going to try to go and find those clips somewhere and try to get that fender flare put back on the vehicle. I mean, it's still on right now, it's just kind of gapped. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get it hugging the vehicle again. What I plan on doing today right now is head over to Garrett's place, get the truck up on some jacks and stands, take off the wheels and just do a deep clean of the suspension because ever since I got it put on, it has not been cleaned whatsoever. So it's just got about a year and a half of just grime and dirt built into it, which I plan on trying to strip out and make it look brand new again. That leads me into my next point of starting to practice uh, cinematic filming. There are two cops right next to me at this light. Um, anyways, uh, cinematic filming I'm trying to get into just because, you know, I watch all these car edits and everything on YouTube and they just look amazing and it's something I kind of want to try to get into. So I borrowed my buddy Jeremiah's gimbal for the GoPro about a week ago and I practiced some filming with that just to try my hand at, you know, the uh, angles and editing side of it. And it went well. Unfortunately, it was just all shots of my backyard. You know, nothing of vehicles, so I probably won't post it. But I think it went well. So this week I'm trying to meet up with uh, some old friends, Elijah and Miguel, and try to do some cinematic filming of their vehicles just to get more practice. And once I feel more confident in my abilities to do cinematic filming, I'm going to head out to the desert with my buddy Nate, who's got a long travel Tacoma. Here goes the exhaust. So once I'm more confident in my cinematic filming and editing, I'm going to head out to the desert with my buddy Nate, who's got a long travel second gen Tacoma, and try to get some nice shots and a nice edit of his truck just mobbing through the desert with this new long travel kit. And I will be sure to post that for you guys if it comes out good enough. I don't know if I'll be using the GoPro at that point because this weekend I went to a garage sale and I finally picked up myself a real camera. <laughs> I got a Sony a6000, which is a great beginner camera right here, and I got it for dirt cheap compared
compared to other used ones, so I'm pretty stoked on that. I don't know what I'll be using for cinematic filming now, a uh, real camera or the GoPro, but I'm kind of excited to finally have, you know, a real camera to shoot with, not just an action camera. So I might start doing my vlogs with the real camera now instead of the GoPro when I'm actually able to, you know, hold it and not be driving. So I'm gonna start doing my research and kind of figure out what settings to put on the camera to get some good videos. And I'll try to make the switch to that soon. So my plan for the summer so far is just, I guess, one, try to get my truck back to really good standards, the way I like it. And two, start getting the bike back to where it needs to be to be able to go back to the desert again. And three, work on my filming, because who knows, it might be something I wanna do later on in life. So that's all for right now. I'm gonna wait for Garrett to get home so we can start cleaning it and we'll get into it. Now that Garrett's back home, we could put it up on the jack, get it on some stands, and start cleaning the suspension. Yeah, I know, I know this stuff. This is what we're working with suspension wise. As you can tell it has not been cleaned a day in its life after all the off-road trips it's been on. So today we're gonna get in and clean every little inch of this. It's gonna look nice and pretty when we're done. Blood stains, grease, wine, liquor, gum, oil, glue, hair dye, food stains, grape juice, berry juice, and many more. Dilute before use. Oh, well, maybe that's why it works so good. I don't dilute it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing I hate about those upper control arms, the grooves on top, because then water gets stuck in there and you can't clean them out. I made a guy really jealous this weekend. He had the tube uppers, and I was like, oh, my friend has your truck pretty much, but it's a second gen, the box uppers. He was like, wait, he has the box ones? Like, yeah, they're pretty nice. He's like, I wanted those, but I couldn't afford them. And I was like, yeah, you got them. He's like, oh. You wanna know why? You wanna know why I could afford these? Why? I could afford these because Anthony West hooked them up. What the fuck? What? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. So now what this does is it breaks down all the stuff, so it's easy to just wipe right off, see? Then you use the wax. And she comes out shiny. <laughs> yeah, I just hope it doesn't break the tire iron. You gotta clean off your sick center mount bump stops right here. Damn, dude, you did some work on this. All I did was put it in and then I turned it. Top ones that are like bolted to the table and they close. Oh, yeah, no. Um, it's gonna get sprayed, but it's not like a. Switching back to the GoPro because somehow this lens like busted and tweaked sideways. I'm assuming it's when the camera fell back, but like I don't know, it's not zooming in or out, and the camera won't recognize the lens when it's on, so uh, 
uh, we're switching to the GoPro and I'll try to dissect this when I get home and try to get it back straight. Back to the good old GoPro. Well, ugh. we got one clean so far. It's looking pretty decent. The capital D. Oh, yeah. Now we gotta move on to the other side. You can see how dirty, kind of like a before and after. But then we'll head to the back. Here, fuck it. Here. Go ahead, take them off and I'll hold the tire. They work? Yeah. Oh, you just cracked your shit. What shit? What? Don't Jesus be light with that shit. Trust me. <laughs> Oh, you got it in my eye. My eyeball. Quick, get the rag. <laughs> Now that I got the whole truck washed, cleaned, and suspension all cleaned, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be practicing the cinematic filming and editing. So this week I'll try to get out uh, and film some cinematic shots so I can edit it and post it up for you guys and practice for the long travel Tacoma that I can hopefully be filming. Ain't that right, Garrett? Gonna Damn go. Damn right, it's clean. I was gonna say we're gonna go film Nate in the desert. Oh. Uh, yeah, here we are, I think. Right? <laughs> yes? Heck yeah. Sky stay low when the night stay cold.